Hey guys, Ben the Outdoors Air Gunner. Welcome to Shooting Gear Reviews. Today we're going to talk about the Hunting Master AR6K from Evanex. When I first found out about this gun, you guys, I was really surprised that I didn't already know about it because it's just flat out awesome. Stay tuned and check it out. All right guys, so the AR6K, this they say is a youth rifle and I can see why because it's super lightweight. It's really easy to operate and it's really safe. If you take this mag out, your, your rifle's unloaded because all the pellets stay in the mag. The way that this works is with a hammer. So there's no pellet pusher in there. You guys, you see that? There's nothing. The mag actually operates as part of your barrel in effect because the pellet's getting shot directly out of the mag. So when you add the mag to the gun, that doesn't mean that there's a pellet chambered. Take the mag out, now the gun is perfectly safe pretty stinking cool. Like I say, for a youth gun, that's awesome. Like just extra, extra steps to be safe. This thing can be operated in both single or double action. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Or like this. Pretty stinking cool. There's slightly different power levels in each of those. So when you operate it fully like this, you get a little bit more velocity, a little more power than when you're doing the quick follow-up shot like that. So that's actually kind of cool. You can use one when you need it, get a little bit more power. Use the other, save air, maybe not over penetrate if it's a closer shot. Just really cool guys, it's a super versatile gun. That action. A lot of rifles, you guys, you've got to operate a bolt or even a side lever. And that means taking your hand off of this position right here. On this rifle, that's all you gotta do. And if you need an even faster follow-up shot, that's all you need to do. This has got a beautiful wood stock in my opinion. I love the color of this wood. The finish is really pretty. Got some nice checkering on there. Just a really pretty wood stock. Still very lightweight though. Has your pressure gauge there in the bottom. So once again, a little bit safer than of course having it there at the end of the pressure tube where you're having to kind of do one of these things and look like you're gonna shoot yourself in the face to check your air. It does have a threaded barrel. Does not come with this moderator. This is a Neil Clegg moderator, guys. Really hushes the thing down. And of course, with the threaded barrel, just screws right on, super easy, that's awesome. Now this thing, it like I say, does not come with the moderator, just comes with a little barrel nut there at the end of the barrel. But if you don't need it to be quiet, that's actually kind of cool because then you've got a really compact rifle. Again, youth rifle. Why do I keep saying youth rifle though? Because to me, this is quickly becoming one of my favorite air rifles. This is something that, gosh guys, I could hunt all day with, I could shoot all day with this, plink all day, gosh, just kind of hang out all day with it because it's cool. I'm excited, can you tell? I'm excited about this gun. I really, I don't know, I'm gonna have to talk the guys at the pro shop into letting me keep it because I don't know if they're gonna be able to pry this one out of my fingers because I just love it so much. And of course, it is a youth rifle. And guess who else loves it? My son loves it. He really likes this rifle. It's, it's got everything going on. You guys, it's got that kind of old west appeal with that kind of hammer and this old sort of six shot revolver-esque looking magazine. But it's also super accurate and it delivers over 30 foot pounds of power. I could probably sit here and tell you little things about why I like it all day long, but that's not what you're here for. You're here to see this thing shoot. And that's what we're gonna do next. So I've got a target set up out here at 50 yards. And what I wanna show you guys in this video is just really how versatile this gun can be with a number of different pellets and slugs. So we've got some slugs, some pellets. We're gonna show you guys how this thing shoots at 50 yards. Let's go check it out.
<laughs> kind of twitched on that very last one there, guys. Dang it. That was turning out to be like the most awesome group. All right, let's go check those out. All right, you guys, check this out. I'm really stoked with these results. Uh, let's just go through it in order here, okay? So the first pellet we shot were the Air Arms 16 grain, basically the same thing as the JSB 1589. There's my group there with the 16 grain Air Arms. About an inch group, 50 yards, not bad. Switched over to the 1813s and those are super consistent, you guys. I mean, they're drilling it nicely. Again, maybe a, about an inch or a little over an inch, like an inch and a 16th on this one. Uh, then I switched up to some of the slugs, guys. First, I tried the H&N slugs and it wasn't on the red, but look at the size of that group there, you guys. I had one go, kind of maybe because I twitched, but one outside of the group, and then I had the rest, all five shots right there and literally like four of them through something like the size of a barely bigger than a pellet. Like, look at how tiny that is. That is awesome, 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 awesome. So I saw how good that was and I thought, I'm gonna try it again and see if I can get it on the red. So I loaded up another mag of the same pellets and I had one, two, three, four, five, six. Eh, not so great that time. I don't know if it was me or what was going on. You know, I've honestly, guys, I've kind of noticed that with the H&N slugs. Some groups you get are like just super amazing, consistent small groups, and then some are more like that. Not that that's bad at 50 yards, that's great. I mean, that's that, that's huntable totally, but that is like competitive. So I wanna find out what's causing that. I haven't spent time really to sort through those pellets, maybe weigh them, measure them a little bit, and kind of see, um, but that's what's going on with the H&N slugs. Uh, switched it up next to the uh, Nick Nielsen uh, ammo, the NSA Nielsen Specialty ammo. Uh, tried some of his 17 grain uh, 2165 slugs in this, and look at how those did, you guys. Had one go barely high, one go barely low and right, and the rest, all four, went right there. That's dialed in. That's really awesome. So you can see, guys, the thing shoots slugs really well. I mean, we had H&N slugs, and we had the Nick Nielsen slugs both shooting really well out of the thing, guys. Uh, this down here, this giganto sort of a spread here, that's from the first generation of the heavies. I switched over to the heavy redesigns, the Gen 2, and that's what I got, you guys. Six shots, and I twitched on that last one. All the other five went right there. I wish I wouldn't have twitched, because I literally would have had like uh, about a quarter inch group at 50 yards. So guys, quarter inch grouping at 50 yards with the Evan X, AR6K, and the JSB redesigned heavies. Oh man, I wanna take that gun and shoot 50 yard bench rest with it next year at EBR. That's amazing results, you guys. That thing could keep up with like the, the multiple thousands of dollar guns that the guys bring out to that event. You can shoot a group like that at 50 yards, you're gonna stay in the competition. I mean, you're gonna at least be in the running. That is phenomenally cool. All right, so there you have it, guys. That's what I got right there. Those are my results. Um, I'll take some photos up and put them up with it, but man, that's really impressive. All right, guys, that's it. AR6K Evan X Hunting Master. Gosh, this gun is awesome. It's got me super impressed. I can shoot slugs, I can shoot pellets, I can do it with pretty doggone good accuracy. I don't know if you can hear the wind out here today, but it's not a dead calm day. We've got probably about five to eight mile an hour wind going. Get that kind of results at 50 yards with all those different pellets. Pretty stinking cool, you guys. Like I say, because this is so small, it shoots so smooth, it's really accurate. With this guy right here, it's really quiet. It's just all around such a fun, fun gun to shoot. And uh, man, I think that's what I'm gonna go do. So guys, thank you for joining me here today on Shooting Gear Reviews. I'm Ben, the Outdoors Air Gunner. Outdoors, having a whole lot of fun with my air guns. I hope you guys are too. I'm gonna go shoot some more.